Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, my name is Janice. Today I have some Halloween DIYs that are really cute, summer spooky, um, just all around great Halloween DIYs. So, and don't forget, I'm going to let you know who the winner is for the calendar, so stay tuned. Okay, for the DIY, I took this um, Dollar Tree terrarium, I think it's called, and some of this web and skeletons and just a bunch of stuff from Dollar Tree. Lights, the spider. I'm not going to be using that skeleton though, just the heads and some bones. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the moss, put it inside. So I'm just going to lay some of the moss inside. I'm not going to fill it. I'm just going to put just enough where I can put the little heads inside. Um, the whole concept of this is I'm trying to uh, make it look like the spiders captured the little heads in his nest and that's his little home. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look like the web of the spider um, captured the head so I'm going to put it through that little hole at the top and um, put the head inside. So now I'm taking a few bones, putting them inside and trying to situate the little heads so I could put the other two in there and put a little bit of hot glue, which was a little hard because the little opening is very small. So I'm just placing the last, uh, the second one in there. I try to put it, I try to glue it to the top. Uh, eventually I did take it down because I didn't like it. So after looking at it, I didn't like it. So I just totally changed it. If you guys watch my other videos, you know I do that often. <laughs> so I decided just to put the web cloth over the top and then hot glue the spider on top. So I'm taking the web mesh and then uh, wrapping it around and I'm going to cut it at the bottom and then hot glue it. Now I'm fixing the little heads inside to make sure that they're positioned and put a little bit of hot glue and then I'm going to hot glue the spider to the top. And this is what it looks like. I think it came out pretty cool. So for the DIY, I took this Dollar Tree sign, I traced it on some foam board and just cut it out. And I'm using Dollar Tree uh, bones and this uh, mesh and some popsicle sticks and this little wood piece I got from Dollar Tree. And then here is Earl. So I'm gonna make a cute little trick or treat uh, plaque sign with Earl. <laughs> Taking plaster white chalk paint first and um, what is this black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree? I'm going to paint the um, foam board that I cut out with the black because it's kind of yuck. And um, I'm going to paint the little wood piece in black as well. And the chick or treat sign is going to be in plaster color. So I'm going to give it one quick coat. Now I'm going to take the plaster chalk paint and I'm going to paint the trick or treat sign. Everything is dry. Took these popsicle sticks, painted them black, and cut them down because they're going to be um, holding the two pieces together. So now I'm going to take Earl and I'm going to take this Dollar Tree uh, scarf that I got and I'm going to make him a little headband. So I'm just making sure it fits around his head and <laughs> taking some uh, hot glue and then I'm going to wrap it around his head. So 
Okay, so Earl's little headband's done. I'm going to take these two signs, the popsicle sticks, and some hot glue. And this is going to uh, attach the two signs together, and that's what's going to hold it. So now I'm going to take some of this deco mesh that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to hot glue a little piece in the back. Um, I was looking for my purple one. I couldn't find it, so I used the orange. So I'm just adding a little bit of the hot glue. And then once that's done, I'm going to attach it to the other piece. My Dollar Tree only had one of those signs, so I had to make, <laughs> improvise, and make a little uh, one out of foam board. But it came out cute. So now I'm going to take the signs and the little wood piece that I painted and some of the hot glue and place a little bit down at the bottom of the base and then place the two signs on top and then I'm going to grab Earl. Here's what it looks like so far. It's pretty cute, isn't it? So now I'm going to take Earl and start placing him, um, kind of like peeking out from inside of the little coffin sign. Unfortunately, it's the bad angle and I didn't realize it when I was doing it. <laughs> and you guys can't see what I'm doing, I'm sorry, but uh, I just kind of hot glued him down to uh, stand up. I did add a little embellishments, um, some bones and a couple things and bats at the end and uh, add a little bit of gray and black and a bone at the bottom and here it is I think it came out cute Okay, so I'm going to pick the winner. Let's see what it does. Okay, looks like Bernice Summerton. Bernice Summerton is the winner of the calendars. Congratulations, Bernice. Okay, for this one, I took this wreath that I got from Oh, I think Hobby Lobby and this bird I got from Michaels and this chalk paint chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree and these bulbs all these little bulbs from Dollar Tree and all these black flowers and stuff from Dollar Tree so I going to paint the wreath because it's brown I want it black so I'm going to put one coat on top I've seen these uh, wreaths, these Halloween type wreaths in all these stores are so expensive. I was like, you know, I can make it myself. So that's exactly what I'm doing, making myself a really cool Halloween wreath. So now I'm going to start taking the um, black roses and flowers and start applying it to the wreath. I'm not going to hot glue them down because I'm just going to use the stem and just slide them inside the uh, wreath because it has like the little wood slots. So I'm just placing some of the flowers down into the wreath right now. Um, some flowers that I got are these four I got from Dollar Tree. Um, mostly are black. And then I'm taking this little rose, cutting off the stem, and then I'm going to place that inside. And I'm going to work my way all the way to the top. I'm only going to be doing half of the wreath right now, and then um, the other half is just going to be plain. I'm going to place the little black bird at the bottom. Right now, I'm going to take some of those. I'm taking the orange one right now, and I'm starting to hot glue it down. And then I'm going to hot glue down the little orange one, and then um, a couple other ones throughout the uh, wreath going upward. Just put in some color in um, because it's just so black. So now I'm taking those little black um, ferns, or I'm not sure what they're called, but they're sparkly. And I'm going to put a bunch on the side of the wreath and then alternate with some of the black flowers.
So I'm placing down one of the little silver ones that I found in my stash and I thought it would break up the black and so I'm just um, finding um, certain spots for the black flowers and the purple and the orange. Now I'm going to take this black one that has a little eye on it. I'm going to be putting the bird at the bottom of the wreath. So I wanted to give the wreath some light, so I'm taking these purple lights that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put a little tiny glue and wrap it around the whole entire wreath. And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out amazing. It's going right in my front door. I'm really happy how it turned out. Okay, for this DIY, it's kind of creepy. I took this these doll heads that I got from Michael's on sale for like $2.50 and these really ugly cockroaches from Michael's that are very realistic. And this rat I got from Dollar Tree. And the little black stand I had previously, I don't even know where I got it from. I'm going to be using this red apple paint, sunburnt umber from Apple Barrel and, and Nutmeg Brown. And I'm using um, Dollar Tree chalkboard black paint. And I'm gonna use some of this black felt that I think I got this from Dollar Tree. So I'm taking some burnt umber paint and I'm going to start painting a little bit around the front area. Now I'm taking some of the black chalkboard paint and I'm just going to apply a little bit inside the eye pupil area. Trying to make them as scary as possible. <laughs> I think I might be doing just maybe one or two more Halloween um, videos. And then I think I'm going to dive right into Christmas um, very soon. Dollar Tree is putting out all their Christmas um, supplies right now. So I just want you to have an opportunity to see a lot of things that are made by Dollar Tree products. This way you have the opportunity to go there and grab once they're available. Because when once they're there, they're gone. Like... In a flash. Now I'm going to start painting the mouth with the same black paint and just um, around the lip area. Creepy looking and that's what it looks like so far. So now I'm taking the red apple uh, paint start painting around his mouth make it look like blood coming around the sides of his corners of his mouth. I'm also going to dab a little bit of the paint around his cheek and under his chin area. So now I'm using my finger and just dabbing in some of the paint, the black, the brown, and the red, and just kind of like putting it all around the top of his air, head area and front of the skull area. Just mixing it around, making it look creepy. Now I'm taking the inside of the candle holder and just painting around the rim area. I'm going to be using the black felt. So now I'm taking the black felt and I'm going to cut a piece out and just wrap it around the top portion of the candle holder and it's going to just like kind of like drape down.
Now I'm going to be using some hot glue and start um, placing some glue down and wrapping the felt around it. Now I'm taking this Dollar Tree basket and the candle stick holder and I'm going to take some hot glue and place it down. Now I'm going to take the head and attach it to the little candle holder. It's so creepy. Look how spooky he looks. I put the Dollar Tree candle inside the candlestick holder. Now I'm going to hot glue it and place it in the basket. Now I'm going to take some of these really creepy, realistic looking cockroaches. They are so creepy, let me tell you. And I'm going to place a lot inside, some around the basket, a little bit of hot glue, just to make it a little bit more creepier than what it is. I'm taking some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue it down in place. I did take some hot glue and hot glue down the rat. I don't know what happened to that part. So now I thought maybe grab some creepy cloth and just put a little bit around the front and a little bit on the sides just to break up the black. I don't know, just give it some, I don't know, some look I'm going for. I have no idea. <laughs> it's really creepy in person let me tell you um don't pay attention to my craft room guys because my craft room is so jam-packed with stuff that i don't have enough room and one day i'm gonna have to go in there and sort everything out i'm gonna have to <laughs> it's gonna take forever okay so this is what it looks like and this is what i came up with and i think it came up pretty spooky and cool well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I do appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do have some great videos coming soon. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.